Hello everyone, our wood farm is going splendidly, and also it doesn't need to be on crystal ground, which actually helps out quite a bit. Which means I can just easily block this off. Now we're getting a good amount of gleam wood. It hasn't been running for that long. And we're gonna need the gleam wood for the solarite workbench. Most of the bars have already smelted, so we should have enough of that. We of course also have enough galaxide. But if you look to my inventory, the first thing I want to do is gather up some of the animals. We're gonna have to wait a second anyway on that Gleamwood farm, so may as well, I suppose. I wanna start with the goats first, because I'm not 100% sure how it worked. Ham, okay? Well, it's just right-clicking. Is it all just called ham, or... Oh no, those are the names? Damn. Yeah, okay, so these are the names of the animals. I did not name them myself, so that's why I got confused. We can actually take this portal back with us as well, because I don't need to be in this area anymore. So that at least saves us quite a bit of hassle later down the line. Because these things get expensive, mainly in like the mechanical parts. And now that I'm not really near my caveling farm, I'm not getting as many. Oh, we got one of these as well. So there we go, we got him. We actually only got one cow. Now, of course, we do still have a bunch of other animals to go. Well, I say a bunch. Realistically, it's like one more cow and two tortoises. We got a ton of these sheeps. Probably a bit too many, to be fair. But then again, I do want to have... Why can I not place this one down? Um, hello? Are you broken, Bob? Bob. Please, Bob. The cow also doesn't want to be placed down. What the hell? I don't understand. I'm gonna relog real quick. It seems like relogging actually didn't fix the problem. Okay, well... That is a problem. I wonder why these guys are broken. Alright, let's make three more of these. I actually brought way too many supplies. That is a bit more than three. Alright. Fine, let's quickly check the meadows for another cow. The hell did I just pick up? Missionary tank top. Uh, Alright. Oh, wait, what the hell? Wait, what? Why the heck is there a crystal biome here? What the heck? Did it just, like decide to spawn into my world like this i mean i wanted to find one anyway Ooh, what's that a fiery flower sunrise seeds and sun rice okay good oh that's the new tree yes 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 get the heck out of this my tree man lucent oak they look so amazing okay well i was gonna go for cows and meadows well what the hell is that it's a giant snail. There's a lot of radi- Ow. There's a lot of radiation here. More trees though, that's good. We did not find those in the other one. The radiation is just such pain to deal with. There's like a lot of things in this biome, man. That are like extremely pain- What the hell is that? Is that a key? It's a crystal bone. What's up, my dude? Does he damage us? No, he's, he's chill. Oh, this one- has a lot of these snails, what the heck. I really hope there's like an item that neutralizes the radiation and we'll find it rather quick. Hey, can we attack and kill the snail? Oh, he has a lot of the ore though. And then dies. Okay. He just drops a bunch of meat. The fuck is that? Wait, isn't that the boss? Hello, mate? Oh, we can pick him up. What is this? The, fail, the failed titan. Alright, we got a failed titan. We got some sort of club out of him as well. Crystal shard club. Deals a max of 300 damage. This might be the weapon we were looking for. A stronger weapon than the lava battle axe. I don't exactly remember how much he dealt. But let's see when we get home if this one is better or not. This feels a lot more relaxing to explore than the other one did, that's for dang sure. This one does seem to have like many more of these radiation crystals. Oh, yeah, I spoke too soon, I was mainly saying that because I didn't see these guys. Bloody menace to society, these guys, and they're like hard to kill as well. Because their hitbox is kind of weird. So I honestly thought when I looked at the trailer that this guy was just going to be a boss or something. He is just a good walking my uh, like gold mine though. Well, Solarite Mine, I suppose. Well, if anything, no, we did find one of these biomes. Which I suppose is what we wanted as well. Because that way, we can grab 
Uh, this guy. Alright, other than that, I don't see anything else we want here. So let's head back for now. Actually, this Fallen Titan thing looks pretty damn cool. We don't have anything here yet. Look at that. That actually looks really sick. I might want to place it a bit farther down. Like that, yes. That looks really cool, though. Alright, let's hope that we can actually put the cow in the pen. Like, there might be a limit as well to, like, how close together they can be. No, there isn't. Okay. Just not sure why they other guys can't be placed. Alright, well, not sure what we're gonna do with these guys yet. So it does mean I'm gonna need probably another cow. But that's only if I want to breed them, which I'll probably not do anyway. Seems like the Gleamwood farm is doing pretty good. We actually have enough to make that workbench, which we're gonna do in a second here. But first, I wanted to check this out. So the Lava Battle Axe, this is upgraded as well. So, unfair comparison, to be honest. Let's see what it costs to upgrade this thing. I have to reinforce it. Just a couple Solarite bars. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll invest if this means we're getting a better weapon. It is not better, in fact. Well, that's alright. We just put it in there. Alright, the moment I've been waiting for. Let's finally check out this Solarite workbench. That is not a lot, I will admit. Not a lot of stuff. We don't get a better pickaxe. We do get a better fishing rod. Oh man, they turn into planks as well, the Gleamwood. Should have seen that one coming. There's a bunch of Gleamwood stuff around here. Right, upgrade to this one. The Gleamwood Sword. Slightly better though than the Rune Sword. Or the Rune Song, which is kind of scary. I don't particularly think this is better. The question is, is the crossbow. Yeah, the crossbow is also stronger than the Phantom Spark. However, the Phantom Spark does spawn little ghosts so technically that still uh is still better is this like all we can do now i thought there was more there must be something i missed surely i do know that there was like some sort of upgrade bench which is why i'm confused that i can't seem to find it but i guess maybe it's not something for today for now though let's go get some turtles all right let's check out what's over here because this looks rather special is it all just for one tree I'm mean, sure these trees look cool and all, but... Oh no, they did drop something special. Jungle Emerald. And Desert Rubies and more Sapphires. Alright. Ooh. Found another one of these. Ouch. What the hell happened to me? I'm getting radiation damage. What? Why am I getting radiation damage? There's like no thing here. They must have some sort of significance, right? Besides killing me, of course. Ooh, there's one. Come into my box. Nice. Alright, sweet. We got one of them. So one more and we're good to go. I actually do wonder what they eat, though. And choose down on kelp. Oh, we got the trophy for these guys. Nice. If I can actually pick it up, it would be anyway. Aha, I found them. This is what I was looking for before I wanted to leave. Alright, nice. We got some turtles. They can go into the turtle pan. And these guys drop a lot of wool now. It's fantastic. Getting it was kind of a pain early on, but now it is pretty good. We also had one of these geodes. This is the purple room, so I'll slap it in there real quick. Especially because I assume that is the purple color anyway. For higher quality crafting, that's what it's used for. So yeah, we're definitely missing something big. I'm not 100 sure what yet, but we're definitely missing something big. Something else, though, there is a new Pet as well. And it comes from the King Slime. So how about we defeat him real quick. And I grab some of my boss armor real quick as well. Radiant Moon Sandwich. This is actually really good. It reduces damage taken from bosses. But also gives us 16% damage against bosses. Alright. Place them down. We take the potions and the food. It deals... Decent damage on the King Slime. It actually went pretty well. Did we get him? Yes. The Royal Uzi Egg. You know, we should have probably started the episode with getting this egg. Because this is going to take a while now. I guess in the meantime, I'm going to look up what else we missed. Alright, while I was looking, I actually saw that I got an achievement. And I was like, what? But I already had like almost all achievements except for two. Which, I didn't reach Fishing 100 and get all the cards. It seems like they added a couple new ones, actually. So we gotta reach max level with a pet. Feed kettle. 
We can easily do that right now. Hatched your first pet from an egg. Well, we already done that, but... Yeah, we've done most of these already, actually. Well, some of these. I mean, feed the kettle, we did that, but it probably doesn't count yet. We probably have to hatch a new pet. I do have color variants of pets, and then there's two hidden. Well, one new hidden, anyway. Which is, defeat the worm, right? That's probably new Boston. Which didn't count for some reason. Do I have to, like, manually put them in? Oh yeah, I see. I need all color variations on one pet in a chest. Let's get all the color... Well, let's get all of them, actually. Storm all in that one chest. I don't know how many color variations there are, actually, of this. The answer is more than this, though. Now let's see how the feeding works, because I assume we need to feed them straight from our hand. Come on. Eat. There we go. Feed kettle. Nice. Play the tune of Tempest. Not a hundred percent sure what they mean with that. Alright, according to... Oh, yeah, here it is. How did I not see this? What the hell? I was gonna say, according to the patch notes, it's in the Scarlet Workbench, but... I looked in it. And I guess I was blind. Alright, so this is an upgrade station. It's also a too wide. Yikes. Alright, I'll put that there. The heck am I looking at? Uh... Upgrade pickaxe? Coins, sapphire, as well as solarite bars are needed. Alright. Actually, can we upgrade our lava battle axe? We should probably upgrade our sword, to be fair. That's probably a wiser decision. Because we actually use this thing. Galaxide, it's actually cheaper too. So, click here to upgrade, I guess. Now we need solarite. Alright. It actually increases it by a substantial amount. Yeah, alright, we need some more solarite then. I'm gonna assume that there's like a hard cap on all of these weapons, right? Now we need a jungle emerald. Well, luckily we did find a couple of those. Just grab all of them for now. I guess this is what they're used for. We still need to figure out what this nuclear battery is used for as well. So what does it even say? A highly advanced piece of technology that stores nuclear energy when placed in a habitable room. It'll attract a bolt traveler. Oh! I should have fucking read that before. I thought that the item that you need for the NPC was going to be dropped by the boss like it always has been. But I guess not. Alright, Mr. Nuclear Powered Man. How about you show up? Well, he did that real quick. Oh nice, this hazmat suit makes us immune to the radiation. That's really good. Oh, this is where we can buy the geode wall displays. Unusual potion... 40% damage, but also 40% taken. You know, suddenly our idea of one-shotting the first boss in the game became way too easy. And this is the bait pillar. Oh, yeah, we need this. Oh, we can only buy two of them, damn. I mean, they are quite expensive, so I suppose it's good that we have so much money. Did not expect to have needed more, though. To be fair, I'd rather have equipment that does... Whatever this suit is gonna do, we don't even have enough on us. You know what? Screw it. You can keep your hazmat suit, mate. So that seems to be everything that we can do except for fight the bosses. We can technically look around the new biome. Because there are a couple items that you can only get by looking for it in the world. Like there's these laser drills and stuff like that. We'll admit it actually felt like a very small update for how much they added. But that might just be because I have like this end game world pretty much. I do find it kind of sad that I couldn't find any solarite deposits so I will definitely be looking out for those. We also still need to find where the heck the place is bait pillar down. That should be somewhere in the sunken seas but they didn't give us any way of detecting where it is because they did that with a lot of the other ones right or does this guy have it? He does have it. That is pretty good. I actually have enough stuff for the scanner so we'll do that next episode. Guess we also keep around Uzi till then. So for now, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.